Alright, we got a mess out there this morning, gang. Bumper to bumper from Indian River all the way to the naval base this morning, that due to a number of accidents. Metro traffic during Thursday morning rush hour, and Hampton Roads is off to a sloppy start. We've got many accidents working on the interstate. Let's start you off 64 westbound. If you're making that swing up uh, in towards the base this morning, are you ready for this? We're backed up to up around Indian River Road. This is what I hate about driving. Traffic stopped. I mean, this is the construction at Indian River Road. People cutting you off, trying to get in. It's enough to make you want to scream. Earl Smith screams, and he cusses, too. What do you say? I know what I say. I call him an ass. Earl and others say these are the five worst traffic tick-offs. Number five, cutting in. No warning at all. Just pull right out Just there like they're right the out there like they're on the road. And then have the audacity to have kids in the back, and they look at you like you're in the wrong. Number four, tailgating. The biggest one is following me real close when I got my little guy sitting in the seat. Number three, changing lanes and not using blinkers. Not using turn signals really drives me nuts. Number two, passing on the shoulder so you don't wait in traffic like everyone else. Yeah, then I don't want to let them in, you know, but they kind of force themselves over so you don't have any choice. And the number one traffic tick off, going below the speed limit while driving in the fast lane. Everybody driving in the left lane, if they're driving slow, they need to drive on the right lane. Um, yeah, like who do they think they are, the traffic cops or something? You got it. Adding to the mayhem, drivers on our roads for the first time, like this Minnesota trucker. He crossed five lanes of traffic at rush hour. Luckily, no one injured. He was in a hurry, wasn't paying attention, and it's first time down here. And he said he was going how fast? 35 miles an hour. You believe that? No, I don't. State police charged the trucker with reckless driving, saying this accident and many others are avoided by simply slowing down and paying attention. They're thinking about where they have to go, where they just came from, or what they have to do when they get to their destination. They're talking on telephones, they're talking in the car to passengers. They're not really paying attention. Stuck in traffic again. Another typical day of driving in Hampton Roads. Coming up tomorrow, how do professional drivers deal with this mess? And you won't believe what some people do to a school bus. I'll have that story coming up tomorrow. Les, back to you.